look at this beautiful DSM-7 on our Synology NAS. We're showing you how to update from six to seven. It looks cool, it functions better. Updating to seven is something that you need to do. Hey, so before we get started, why don't you let me know down in the comments what Synology NAS you have got running. I'm running a four bay 920 plus for this demo. Let me know what you've got. Let me know if you're running this at home or in a business. And also, if you subscribe to my channel right over there, clicking on the button and on the bell, I release a whole bunch of videos around a lot of technology things, but a lot of stuff around the Synology now. So I know that you'll definitely find it helpful, making sure you're clicking on that notification bell so you don't miss any of these new videos. All right, so now let's go through the process on how to update. Now we're gonna go into our control panel right here and go to update and restore. You'll notice that this is my model, the 920 plus. This is the current version, 6.24, but I can't actually update to seven directly from here just yet. You'll be able to do that in the future. For now, you'll have to manually download DSM version seven. So we're gonna go and navigate via a browser on our computer to the actual Synology Download Center. Okay, so we're gonna open up our browser and we're gonna look for Synology Download Center. We don't wanna select the product type. Uh, in our case, it's gonna be a NAS. Select your model. Mine is the 920 plus. Of course, you will input your model. And here we go. So OS version at the very top here says 6.2 series, but we want to download 7.0 series right over here. So if you're interested to know if your NAS is compatible, once you select version seven, click on the very far right where it says release note, and you can actually see a list there. This version of DSM is compatible with all of these NAS models right over here. So DSM-7, we're now gonna select download. And while it's downloading, just remember that I would recommend always to back up your Synology NAS because it is a major update from six to seven. Make sure that all your data is secure, back it up uh, because it is a major version. Generally, things are not going to go wrong, but it's just a good precaution anyway. So the download is now complete. I'm now gonna select manual DSM update. I'm now gonna navigate to the file that I just downloaded. There it is, and open. Some update notices letting you know it's gonna take about 10 to 20 minutes. If you understand all of that, next. Happy with all of that. Of course, it's gonna shut down your NAS, gonna update it. So if you've got anything running on it, if you've got servers running on it, whatever it may be, they're all gonna stop. If you're happy, continue. This process will take a little bit of time. Once it downloads, it'll then reboot. So a lot of services and updates of your apps will also take place and that's because there's newer versions of all of this for version seven. So that will take a little bit longer if you've got a lot more apps. We're now presented with our login screen. So after several reboots and updates of your apps, it's now important that you now log in and double check everything. And here we are, version seven. What's new in version seven? You can now look into what has changed. You'll see that there's new icons, there's new things that are slightly different. So overall, things look really, really cool. They've obviously updated a lot of the icons, a lot of the actual views and the GUI itself. A lot of the features and the functions are gonna remain the same. So why don't you let me know in the comments below whether you were able to update from version six, whatever version of six to version seven. Let me know if it was successful. Let me know what you think about version seven. That would be really Really, really great. But that's it. Thanks so much for spending the time. Appreciate it. Do give me a thumbs up if you did find this video helpful and also subscribe to my channel because we release a lot of videos around Synology and other tech and I know that you'll definitely find it helpful. We'll see you next time.